Hello everybody, this is Tommy and this is Nate, or Capital Mokina. Yeah. Um, we're here to discuss uh, protein, how much protein you should take in a day. Um, the consensus on that for most people uh, is a gram of protein per pound of body weight. Um, if you're training, you're trying to build muscle, uh, you're trying to increase the uh, size of your muscle cell, muscle hypertrophy, a gram of protein per pound of body weight is by far one of the best ways to really kind of measure how much you should be taking in. You know, keeping a log, you know, measuring how much you're taking in your foods, uh, your proteins. It's nice if you have a whey protein because this one, a 30 gram scoop, you have 27 grams of protein. So you can add that in at the end of the day, you'll see how much protein, you know, you're actually taking in. So whey protein's ideal because it's uh, very, abs very absorbable. Uh, it's a rich source of branched chain amino acids, which they have on the OMAX in red, they have the leucine, valine, isoleucine. There's almost two and a half grams of leucine on here. And leucine helps open up the mTOR pathways, which more or less just alerts your muscle cell that you have this anabolic muscle building material outside the cell. So it's like, hey, bring it in, repair what's broken down, and increase the size of your muscle cell. And bioavailability is very important. Um, Isoflex, one of our best selling proteins in the store by OMAX. Uh, this is a very assimilable protein. Um, I mean, I would say this is by far one of our best sellers. Absolutely. Yeah. Especially the peanut butter Ever. chocolate. Great flavor. It mixes well with water. Um, you know, it breaks down completely, so it's easy to drink. It's light on your stomach. If you do protein before your workouts, um, light on your stomach after workouts, too. So for those of the guys, you know, that are trying to get a lot of, you know, macronutrients in, hitting your shake after your workout when you're leaving the gym, you're going to have enough time and you have enough room in your stomach to eat a meal when you get home. Um, obviously, if you are trying to increase, you know, your weight or your size, you know, your, your muscularity, you're going to want to have more protein in your diet. Um, a good way to judge that is, per se, if you have 150 pounds, you're going to take in a gram of protein per kilogram of, of body weight. Now, if you want to be 250 pounds, you have to convert that into kilograms and then take in another um, one gram for every pound of body weight that you want to be. So, um, ideally for me, uh, whenever I'm trying to gain weight, like protein is, is based, the amount of protein I consume is based off my energy expenditure. So, um, you know, if I'm hitting the gym pretty hard, I'm going to I'm gonna want to eat more. I'm going to want to take in more protein. And, and that goes for carbohydrates as well, too. Um, whereas, you know, if, if I'm taking an easy one someday, you know, I'm not going to the gym, you don't have to eat that much. You know, it's not being utilized by the body as, as, as it would be on a day that you hit the gym pretty hard. So, Yeah, and, you know, with protein, too, whey protein is ideal, especially right after the workout, mm -hmm. because it won't pull blood and energy in your digestive tract. Right. So when you're working out, you've got your blood in your muscles, you don't want to have a heavy shake that's just going to pull everything into your digestive tract. You want to keep it in the muscle, so whey protein is ideal. Um, we even have a, a protein, a pulse recovery called Insapro. Mm -hmm. It has Peptopro whey protein isolate. The Peptopro is my micellar casein, which most people think is a slower it's digesting right. protein, and it is, but whey protein isolate along with the Peptopro is nice because they're both fast digesting, and the Peptopro mm -hmm. um, is in the last stage of digestion. It's in the tripeptide form. They use a patented form of enzymes to break down the micellar casein so it exists in the second and third chain so it'll absorb very fast. Right. Uh, the carbs that they have in there to get you out of a glycogen deficit are maltodextrin and dexatrose. Um, I believe 12 university studies show that those are the best carbs to have after you mm -hmm. work out. Most bodybuilders prefer uh, maltodextrin dexatrose after the workout because they don't have that blood energy going in their digestive tract. Exactly. So, and then it has NAR alpha lipoic acid, which is a good insulin sensitizer. So that's gonna further help increase protein synthesis and um, help with the uh, glycogen restoration of the absorption of the nutrients. So whey protein's ideal. And if you don't, if you wanna kind of avoid whey protein, if you're lactose intolerant or you have allergies, um, Garden of Life's raw protein. This is USDA organic. It's 13 sprouted uh, grains that supply your body with um, all your essential, not essential, and conditionally essential amino acids. Point being, this is a complete protein. Mm -hmm. has the amino acid profile on the side, just like the um, whey protein. So you're going to get the leucine, you're going to get the valine, you're going to get the isoleucine, you're going to get your branched chain amino acids, which make up one-third of your skeletal muscle tissue. Tastes great. I mean, I think it takes time to kind of get used right. to the texture of uh, the raw protein, but this is really good stuff. And this has vitamins A, D, and K in there, uh, probiotics, enzymes. You know, and the point is it's raw, so it's undenatured. You know, so our animal proteins are processed. Plant-based proteins like the uh, raw protein from Garden of Life is unprocessed. It's raw. 
So that means it's going to be more assimilable. It's going to be more absorbable. And you can use this. And it's got 17 grams of protein per serving. Um, the leucine on the side has about uh, 16, 1,600 um, you know, milligrams. So that's pretty good. Um, that's about a gram behind the whey protein isolate. One thing that I'd like to point out about the whey protein, which is nice, and you can see most companies will put it on the side. If they don't, um, it doesn't mean that it's not in there, especially the amino acids. Um, but the protein subfractions, and um, right here on Olmex, they have it on the side. It's called their bioactive full spectrum protein subfractions, and that's like alpha lacto um, globulin, uh, beta lacto. I'm sorry, alpha lacto albumin, beta lacto globulin, uh, glycomacropeptides, lactoferrin lysosome. These are the protein subfractions that are going to help boost your immune system. They'll feed all your immune cell lines. They improve the function in your gut mucosa, especially your epithelial cells. So it's very healthy for your digestive tract. So that's going to help. That's your epithelial cells are what are absorbing your nutrients, and those take um, you know a lot of uh, they take a lot of beatings basically from our you know intake of food, especially cooked food. Mm -hmm. And if you're eating grains and gluten, um, those are very sticky. They actually kind of form a glue, and that affects those epithelial cells, and then it prevents those epithelial cells from repairing themselves. So functional bowel disorders start to occur. And many people run into functional bowel disorders, and they don't even think they don't even really know they have them. Right. So taking the uh, whey protein can be beneficial, and research is also showing that it can mimic the effects of caloric restriction. Mm -hmm. Now, with raw protein, if you are uh, gluten sensitive or you have celiac disease, this is gluten free. Um, it's soy free, so this is completely fine during the sprouting process. You know, there's no anti nutrients. You know, the anti nutrients are kind of like the shell or the hull of the wheat and the barley, you know, this is sprouted, so none of those um, exist there. So you'll get the full benefits of the grains, the proteins, and all the nutrients without having the anti-nutrients. So if you're worried about that, you won't get that with raw protein. And to touch on something real quick, um, I get a lot of customers that frequently, you know, when I'm talking about taking a protein or taking a post-workout shake, um, they, you know, usually say, well, you know, I can get all these macronutrients within a meal after my workout. And, like Tommy had explained, um, you know, eating a meal can be taxing on the gut. It will cause blood to pool into the gut. Um, you really, you know, especially for recovery and, and actually keeping the muscle involved, you want that blood retained in the muscle. Um, and what's going to help with that is, you know, hitting something that's really easily digested, like a whey protein or even like Garden of Life's raw protein after a workout, and also adding a little bit of dextrose carbs in there. I mean, you could use a post-workout shake like Instapro, which is complete with your dextrose, your whey protein, and the as he talked about. Um, or you can make your own post-workout uh, formulation, which I typically do. I, I use Isoflex, I'll use two scoops of that, and then I'll use a dextrose glucose carb like DGC, um, and add a couple scoops of that. I usually hit about anywhere from 40 to 100 grams of carbs post-workout, depending on energy expenditure. So, um, like I said before, if you go in in a workout and you really don't feel like you, you expended that much energy, you don't feel like you really, you know, kicked yourself hard enough, um, do less carbs, do less protein. You don't really need it all. It's not going to be facilitated as, 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 as well as it would be if you really went in there and, and, and did a lot of work. So, something yeah. to think about. Yeah, that's a good point. And 80% of your energy goes into digesting foods. Right. So the digestive process takes up 80% of our, of our energy for the day. So that's why raw proteins are really good, like the Garden of Life, this raw protein's excellent, mm -hmm. or the whey protein. You know, when whey protein hit the scene, it was really, you know, awesome because it, it digested really fast. It was a rich source of branched-chain amino acids, which, wake, which make up one-third of your skeletal muscle tissue. And people just started noticing the increase in strength, recovery. They felt better after the workout. And then they got those protein subfractions, which I, I think are overlooked. That's the lactoferrin, you know, the lysosome. These are what are going to feed your uh, immune cell lines. You know, lactoferrin is found in all oral cavities of the body. And it's, you know, part of the fluid that, you know, bathes your uh, mucous membranes. And that's what's going to go after those opportunistic pathogens and those toxic microorganisms. And, you know, that can assist, too, and boost your natural killer cells, which go after, um, you know, foreign pathogens, opportunistic pathogens, and, you know, it can assist a stressed cell without having to conform to any tissue compatibility um, like the adapted immune system. So that's part of the innate immune system, so it'll kick up your natural killer cell activity. That's great during the winter months, you know, when people are, you know, having colds and flus, especially when you're working out regularly. 
as you know, when you're in the gym, you're more susceptible to catching colds and flus because unfortunately, that person that has the cold always tends to go to the gym and work out. Yeah. yeah, and they're always, you know, touching everything. And then you go in there you touch and your eyes and face. Yeah, and you break down your immune system while you're working out. So, you know, taking a good whey protein will give you that lactoferrin, of of that protein subfraction. There's about 0.5% in whey protein, it's between 1 and 0.5%. Um, there's 15% found in breast milk. Um, so, to kind of give you that perspective, but still, that 0.5% is you know going to be you know a good amount to you know really kind of nourish your immune system and the studies that are coming out are showing the positive benefits um, of whey protein yeah so thank you for watching and uh, yeah please visit us at uh, any of our four locations thank you